involvement of our students in various sports activity. Consequently, our student Danica Fernando has made us proud through her extraordinary achievement in tennis. Danica won her first medal in inter-school tennis tournament in the year 2018. Since then, there is no looking back. Till date, she has won a total of 34 trophies and 9 medals in various ITA and inter-school competitions. Through her hard work, dedication and perseverance, Danica has reached the finals of both singles and doubles of ITA and Asian tennis tournament held in Bangalore this year. Today, we have the energetic and sporty Miss Danica, all willing and enthusiastically waiting to share her thoughts and experiences with us. in the best way possible. In all my ups and downs, they've been there as my pillars of strength. Yeah, surely Sanya Mirza must be a role model for all of them. Yes. Today we find a lot of students complaining regarding their lot of homeworks being given in school, classwork, project work. I'm sure they would like to know how you manage your homework, school work, practice sessions, matches. Can you give them some tips? Honestly speaking, I do feel that it's all about priorities. Taking out a few hours per day can be possible only if you have a schedule which you would follow meticulously. Surely, this will definitely help our students. Danica, I'm sure you have made a lot of sacrifices to reach so far. So we would like to know what sacrifices have you made to reach so far and do you regret making those sacrifices? There are many times where I crib and cry about not being able to attend school or even not being able to meet friends. But I feel that one may not be able to experience everything at once and that we must accept the fact that we might miss out on something or the another at one point of time. So sometimes I do regret making few sacrifices but most of the times I do. In today's time, when parents want their children to excel in their studies and give their 100% for it, how supportive have your parents been in your journey? In a world where many girls are still suffering from a lot of issues, I am thankful to the Almighty for giving me such a supportive family. I do give time to academics and extracurriculars too. Both of my parents are sports oriented and that's how I get all the support and care I need from my principal, sports teacher, other teachers and coaches. 
Oh, so your parents are sports oriented? Yes. Okay, that's how you got the genes from them. Yes. Also tell us how has your school contributed in your journey? Kanosa Convent has always been an amazing institution for me. My principal, Sister Margaret, has been the guiding force. Time and again, she constantly reminds me that winning isn't everything. Playing the game in the spirit of the game is all that matters. She does an extra bit to make me comfortable after a loss. Her soothing words make me rise up after every fall. Each and every sister, teacher has been extremely kind, happy and supportive towards my love for lawn tennis. They always make sure that I have no obstacles from school during competitions and I'm glad to be a true Kanoshan. Kanosa rocks. Truly, Kanosa rocks. Danika, tell us, what are your short term goals that you would like to accomplish in the next couple of years? To represent India at an international level in lawn tennis and to get a UG degree which would make my country. Danika, one, everyone would like to know, if one aspires to make a career in sports, what would be the right time to begin? According to me, this is quite subjective and the right time for an individual would begin only when he or she is completely interested in it and not forced by someone. One should enjoy what one is doing. This means it's not necessary that they have to begin a right from the young age. Yes. They can start after 10 or 12 years of age. Would you like to give any message to the young aspirants who are looking up to you? Please do what your heart says. I know many of us have heard this multiple times, but trust me, no sport, education or passion is big or small. Your attitude and respect towards it is all that matters and this is how one can excel at it in the best way possible. In India, sports is not considered to be a career option in spite of many Indian sports personalities achieving international play. We have students like Danika motivating and inspiring many more to take active participation in sports. Thank you Danika. Thank you.